Hey, so I wanted to talk a little bit about synchronicities again, and this is important. I know there's quite a few people that just don't really give the time of day to synchronicities when they happen. They don't even consider them something that is beyond just, oh, that's weird, you know, coincidence. But if you do look into something like this a little bit closer that's like finding the Joan Crawford picture turned out to be a very unique find for various reasons so the most obvious being just you know for five dollars finding um, a signed picture personally signed by an actress that she was pretty well known back you know back in in uh, 50s 60s 70s um, so that's odd but to me it seemed extra odd because the last time I was in that thrift store one of the last times I've only been in there a couple other times um, is when I found that B.B. King record for 15 cents with a signed note, a note that said, Stay well, B.B. King, inside it. And I did a video on this. So it's on my channel. Now, I found that in the same store in 2006. Okay, I thought it was kind of a, a synchronicity, I mean, just definitely, like, interesting, but something wouldn't let me, you know, just go like, okay, I, I, I felt like there was more to it. Part of it is who was it written to? Vera. When you read it, it sounds like Vera was a friend. And that whole story is interesting too when you look at Vera Ellen's life you know she she left her acting career um, the end of the 50s and early 60s she lost she became pregnant and she lost her first her only kid to SIDS um, anyway so I'm kind of looking looking at like okay is there anything else that I'm missing here related to Joan Crawford it was Joan Crawford's birthday on Saturday the day that I found the picture it was Joan Crawford's birthday I found the picture Saturday March 23rd Joan Crawford's 114th birthday uh, would have been that same day that's weird right no doubt about it. Can you just chalk it up to like, yeah, you know, it just, that, that kind of happens. Well, okay. That can just happen, but I think what's interesting about synchronicity is that sometimes when you look into them a little closer, you'll notice there's more details that surround the event surround the people, surround um, what happened, you know? The story of like Joan Crawford, like she was, she's partially well known for a movie done about her where she was a abusive mother um, called Mommy Dearest and then she was in a movie um, where she she played uh, a, mer a role of um, oh I can't remember the name but anyway Joan Crawford's character murders a couple with an axe so she was a murderer in a movie too which is bizarre for you know 
I mean, in the 50s. Um, so another thing, so if you think of B.B. King, what is another name that comes to mind that is something to do with B.B. King? Just see if you can see what comes to mind, and I'll tell you in just like 10 seconds. What is an obvious name that just comes to mind with B.B. With King? A person's name. Another person's name. Or a name. Lucille. Well, Joan Crawford's real name is Lucille. Isn't that, that's kind of weird. It doesn't really mean anything, but there's a few things. I'm not going to go into, into everything that I found, but there was a bunch of weird little things like like I'm I, I feel like I'm supposed to gain insight about something with that picture and then I found out it was her birthday when I found it so that was weird and then you know some other things so um, it just it it just further enforces my feeling of you know synchronicities have happened my own whole life and since I've gotten older and I look at them closer I find out you know I just wasn't aware of them enough earlier on in my life and if I was I think it would have given me some insights into more I would have taken it more seriously you know I think it's really important to like take strange events in your life and synchronicities or coincidences, call them a coincidence if you want, it doesn't matter. But if it's a really weird one, that really is like, what the hell, you know? You need to look into that. Some other things surrounding it and see what you find, you know? So my real my real feeling is there is synchronicities happening all the time around you right now around me if you're sitting alone in your home not as many things will happen because you're kind of in the you're in your own routine but if you're out and you follow your whatever to go wherever you want to go then you start to you start to put yourself in in some place that there's other people and other events happening that include you so if that makes sense so it's just there's synchronicities happening all the time around you but sometimes it's it you have to find find it so you can manifest them that's very possible but you have to like really talk to people and you have to just like follow your heart and like you know instantly what comes to mind like some place you want to go or something you want to do um, and you'll find it does happen you know more than we even know that's my my whole point with this is when I decided to look into that picture a little bit closer I found more strange things that have to do with these events you know, and I think there's still more, and I, you know, I know that sounds strange, but I really do. Um, yeah, so, hope you guys are doing good, and uh, keep your eye open. Write down strange things that happened, you know, write down, think, you know, when you have something happen. Write it down, and then observe it a little bit closer and observe it who it was with who it was with where it was what time it was more different things about everything that was involved and see what happens you know all right talk to you guys later bye